What's going on, Print Fam? If you're new, I'm Cam. Welcome to the Print Life. Let's roll them credits, baby. Today's pretty chill. Don't got a lot going on, but I'll bring you along for the ride anyway. That I brought the couch back. It allows me to take, you know. Oh. <sighs> Don't watch this. Oh, don't watch this. Fuck you want. It's 9.57. Alex will be here soon. I'm gonna set the camera up. Because I've had anxiety about this. My focus. This fucking. The mobile dryer. I, ha I set it up last night. I let it run all night. Just to see if anything stupid's gonna happen. But. It's good. I'm just packing up the flash dryer right now. Oh! Now I'm gonna double check the weight. Right, um, Je so is Jesse coming in today, Alex? So once Jesse has cleaned all the screens, that's like the last thing we need so that I can pack everything up and make sure that we're under our 50 pound maximum for each case. I can't do that until the screens are ready to go. Oh yes, since I have started the, the live things, the live Q and A's on Wednesday, if you're watching this vlog, make sure to tune in tomorrow at 3 p.m. for the live Q&A. That's what time we're gonna do it. That was the, that seemed to be the best time. That's when we had the most people log in. So we're gonna keep going at 3 p.m. for a while. My dude Alex is struggling with an existing client that we have. Great client, big orders, love doing work for this person. Problem is, they don't, they do, they place complicated orders first of all, and within these complicated orders, a lot of times, they don't even know what they want. And that is infuriating for a printer. We are often ordering garments, big lots of garments, and then having to send those back, having to pay the restocking fee to the warehouse, which we have recently stated on our terms that if you place an order, approve the mock-ups, uh, and then wanna change the garments, your ship date is obviously going to advance and you're going to be responsible for the 30% restocking fee. That's still a tough pill to swallow for most clients, but something it's in the terms. It's got to happen. If you don't know what you want, you're going to pay for it. Just like I was worried about. Uh, we tried to enforce the 30% restocking fee, but the client was not happy about it. So we're going to eat it again. But we learn from our mistakes. This is the last time. Yeah, you know how I told you I was uh, working on my trunks yesterday. <sighs> the aftermath, it's killing me. I gotta write a blog post. I'll check in with you guys later. I'm just gonna apply it some random color of a stroke here. So here's the deal. I just applied this green stroke here. We'll make sure to unselect it when we go to print the underbase. You can see right now, um, if I zoom way in, let me show you what's gonna what's happening here. Uh, if I take, let's, I'm just gonna take the stroke way up. You see the red line? That's the center of uh, of this white inside the fill. So basically. It's hard to, I have a hard time representing it, but the fill goes to the middle of this stroke. If you want to have it to where whatever point you select uh, is choking it by that much, like, okay, so for right now, we have four points 
applied to this, but this is actually two points because you cut it in half because it's down the middle. So it's only stroking this in at two point. Uh, on the flip side of that, hopefully I'm explaining this properly, at one point, this is actually a .5 stroke or choke. This is a .5 choke. So it's not very strong. If you want it to be the true um, stroke, the full thing, then you're gonna come to a window. You're gonna open your stroke window here. And then you can set how you want this stroke to align. Right now it's set to center align. You can set it to align inside, which means now it's applying a full one point stroke. And if you had set it to apply on the outside, it would be applying zero choke. So hopefully I'm explaining that properly. Um, I have just found that I like a 0.5. This gives us a very light choke. So we always keep it center aligned. But uh, if you want it to be more accurate based on the actual stroke number, you would just select here. So like, for instance, because we tend to like a, um, a fairly light choke, I'm just gonna set it down to 1.5 and I'll set it aligned inside. Typically, your stroke is center aligned by default in Adobe Illustrator. Anyway, I hope that that made sense, guys. Uh, this was my little tip and trick for this particular video. Now that we have the under base set up, we can uh, double check that our everything is here, good to go. Here's one more thing you will want to do. Okay, so you can see here, we got the under base. Um, I'm gonna actually delete this snake from here because I just want that to be solid white. And another thing that I am gonna do is I don't want the white on the survival word to be choked down. So I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to select this survival right here. I'm going to hit control C. Uh, and then I'm going to come and select this layer here. And I'm going to control F this survival right in front of it. Now anything that's white is not going to be getting choked down. Everything else has a choke below it. But you'll see here, like, uh, you can't see the green over survival, but you can see the green on everything else. This isn't getting much of a choke, whereas all this is. Does that make sense? I tried to explain it the best that I could. Hopefully this is a nice little tip and trick for you. If not, or if it wasn't useful, sorry about that. God damn it. Can't watch YouTubes and, and make YouTubes at the same time. Look at my new bowling shirt. This is from Urban Greenhouse, it's awesome. See what I added to the homepage? I'm not gonna do a screen capture. This one's banner. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and now I added clickable categories. Ba-ding, ba-ding, ba-ding. And it says, browse some of our most popular blank garment styles. You guys have turned on notifications, right? Since you're already subscribed, you ding the bell. Is it supposed to rain all week? Looks like it. I hope we ain't flying in the fucking rain. I, if it's raining, I'm not getting on that airplane. No way. Update from yesterday's vlog. The people from the fucking whatever, the casino, have still not gotten back in touch with me. So at this point, I'm gonna just gonna show up and I'm gonna wing it. Cause you can't get a hold of anybody over there that's in fucking in charge of the trade shows. It's crazy, it's, it's fucking Vegas. It's like I am tripping a little bit. Cause what if we show up to the Mandalay Bay and we've spent, you know, thousand dollars in plane tickets and hotels. And then, you know, we go walking up and they say, nope, ain't gonna work. Go back. Can't be here. Fuck it. Your face is bothering me. What if they pull some shit like that? Forgot about this. This isn't mine. Hey, Alex Lewis. The uh, IRS is calling your name here. It's in my mailbox. I forgot to give it to you. Yeah, there's the rain. Okay guys, it's 6.30, so we're going to be closing down in about a half hour. Thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, ding the bell, notify, all that good stuff. See you on the flip side, Prep fam. Peace out. Wow.